Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this ASN 900 Azure Fundamentals exam series. In this module, we're going to learn about how can you schedule a Microsoft exam, particularly how to schedule an ASN 900 exam. To schedule an exam, you just need to go to docs.microsoft.com, type in your exam you're looking at, in this case, ASN 900, and Make sure you select the appropriate country where you are planning to sit for the exam and click on schedule with Pearson View. The next page, you will be welcome to your profile page. If you are signing in for the first time, please make sure to provide this value appropriately because your name, what you provide over here should match the government ID you're gonna use just before your exam. If you don't have an MC ID, please create one using your Microsoft account. When you try to schedule for an exam, you have multiple options. A couple of popular ones are, you can schedule an exam at a local test center, or you can schedule an exam at your home or your office. The process you will have to go through on both these options are quite different. So at a local test center, it's quite easy. You select that option and you, you choose your location, select the date and proceed for the checkout. At home and office, the process is different. You have to run a pre-check. There are three things important here. You need to have a working microphone. You need to have a decent internet speed. You can check the internet speed details over here. And you need to have a working web camera as well. The objective is to get three green tick boxes. If you don't have any one of these green tick boxes, that means that you have not successfully completed the system check and you are using a device which you, you won't be able to use for the examination. If you don't have three tick boxes, that means that you cannot use that device on that examination day. After you successfully completed the pre-check, click next and go through the agreement policies, especially if you are trying to sit for the first time. This is the page where it will show you the cost of the examination and you will be welcome to the page where you would be able to pick the date and the time when you are planning to sit for the examination. Very important information over here is make sure you change the time zone to your local time zone before selecting the time. Otherwise, sometimes it can default to US time zone. If you would like to change your appointment, you can click here to go back and modify the appointment. There are some options over here to purchase a practice test or purchasing an ebook. If you are not interested, just ignore those and click on proceed to check out. This is again a very important page if you are trying to understand what are the rescheduling policies. So if you are trying to sit for the first time, you are not quite sure like, can you reschedule for an exam? Of course you can, but you need to make sure that you have read through the policy to understand What's the time limit before rescheduling an examination? And read through the cancellation policies as well. And on the day of the exam, please be prepared to show at least one valid unexpired government ID. What does that mean? Your government ID must have your signature and your photograph. And the name of the registration, which we discussed in the beginning, should match the name on the government issued ID as well. It is recommended to log in 15 minutes early to start in the check-in process. So go to the examination page by going into www.microsoft.com slash learning, log in with your MC ID and click on your dashboard. This is where you will be able to see if you have purchased for a new exam, uh, do you have any future appointments for the exam, have you passed any recent examination, things like that and go to start a previously scheduled online proctored exam, that will take you to your examination. There are a lot of benefits for a certification. So I wish you a great learning experience and an ongoing career success. So without wasting any more time, let's understand why cloud services. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.